We know just about everyone who's spent any time trolling has come to the conclusion that crankbaits are great lures for catching fish. We all agree on that. But the problem with crankbaits is you just can't look at one and tell how deep it dives. And even the manufacturers are not a lot of help here because manufacturers don't have the luxury of testing their crankbaits to determine exactly how deep they dive. And that's what precision trolling data is all about. What we do is go out on the water and we control all the variables with the idea being to determine exactly how deep a crankbait will dive based on some very important variables, things like lead length and also line diameter. You know, there's a lot of factors that influence how deep a crankbait is gonna dive, but the primary factors, the things you gotta be really concerned with are things like line diameter, Thinner lines allow crankbaits to dive deeper than what thicker lines would. Uh, the other thing you have to be concerned with is what we call lead length or feet back. Uh, and the further you put a crankbait back behind the boat, the deeper it's naturally gonna dive. So if you control those two variables, you can very well predict exactly how deep a crankbait is gonna go below the surface. So essentially at Precision Trolling Data, what we do is we troll crankbaits past the scuba diver who's determining exactly how deep they're going below the surface. It's really quite that simple, but it's a little bit more complex than that. What I mean about complexities is that everybody doesn't fish exactly the same type of line or the same diameter line and so what we're obligated to do is to test a variety of different line types and line diameters. What that does is it gives fishermen a fighting chance of knowing how deep a lure is going to go on exactly the type of gear they're likely to be fishing with. 14 3, 1 4 3. 14-3, good number. You know, when it comes to line types, we typically use both braid and monofilament for testing these lures. If a lure happens to be something that would be applicable to, say, walleye fishing, uh, a 10-pound test monofilament is going to be a really good choice. Or we might also do 10-4 braid, a 10-pound test, 4-pound diameter braid. But what if a bait is used for something else, like maybe a salmon lure would be typically trolled on more heavier lines. So then in that case, we would more likely use something like 20 pound test monofilament. So all of the data that we collect at Precision Trolling Data ultimately ends up in a phone app. Now, of course, a phone app is gonna be the ideal way for people to get this information and be able to use it on the water. The beauty of a phone app is that once the information is loaded to your phone, you don't even need a cell coverage to use it. As long as the battery is good on your phone, you can look up all the information you need to determine how deep your favorite crankbaits are diving below the surface. You know, one of the other things that precision trolling data does is it kind of debunks some theories out there. For example, a lot of people believe that trolling speed influences how deep a crankbait dives. Actually, that's not true at all. Floating diving style crankbaits, which are typically used in the industry, are not speed dependent. What I mean by that is that you control them a variety of different speeds and they still go to the same depth. Now speed does have some changes. It changes the action of a lure. If you speed up, the action of the lure is gonna be more aggressive. If you slow down, the action is gonna be deadened a little bit. But speed does not determine how deep a crankbait dives below the surface. So while it's interesting that speed really doesn't matter in terms of how deep a floating diving crankbait is gonna go, Speed does matter in other regards. For example, if a lure that you're using or a device that you're trolling with sinks, if it's negatively buoyant, speed makes a big difference. And in that case, the slower you go, the deeper a device is gonna fish. The faster you go, the more higher in the water column it's gonna typically run. So if a device sinks, we test them at speeds and then we post that speed on the app. So if you don't see a speed, it's because it's not necessary or not relevant to that particular device. So at Precision Trolling Data, we actually come by our name naturally. Essentially what we're doing is we're using as much precision as is humanly possible to control all the variables so that when we put things in the water and troll them, we can determine exactly how deep they dive. Now how close do we measure? Literally right down to the inch. So at Precision Trolling Data, we started our company testing crankbaits, but these days we test just about anything a guy would troll with. No matter what you're fishing with, whether it's a crankbait, a snap weight, a dipsy diver, lead core line, copper line, no matter what you're fishing with, we've probably tested it at Precision Trolling Data. We've been testing crankbaits and other trolling gear for about 25 years. In the early days, we published our data in a book, um, but these days it's much more appropriate to put this data in a phone app. And the reason for that is we can update an app very, very quickly and a much more convenient way for people to use the data. So if you're looking for precision trolling data these days, you're looking for it in a phone app.